Hello all, in today's video we are going to learn about the transport layer. The transport layer is responsible for process to process delivery. It makes use of two important protocols UDP and TCP. What is process to process delivery? Before that what is a process? A process is a program in execution or an application program that is running on a machine or a host. Now, if two processes wants to deliver packet or two processes on the source machine and the destination machine wants to communicate, then the transport layer comes into picture. The transport layer is responsible for delivery of packet from one process on the source host to another process on the destination host. Look at this picture. We have the source machine and the destination machine where there are several processes running on the source machine and several processes on the destination machine. Process on source host wants to communicate with the process on the destination host. Then the transport layer delivers the packet from the process on the source machine to the process on the destination machine. Whereas the network layer is responsible for host to host communication and the data link layer is responsible for node to node communication. Now the other thing comes is about the address of the processes. So let us see the addressing mechanism of transport layer. Let me remind you that in data link layer we have device, the addresses which are local which are MAC addresses or also called as a physical addresses whereas at network layer we have a universal addressing scheme called as the logical addressing or the IP addresses. But when we come to transport layer we are doing process to process delivery that means we are delivering a packet from pro process A to process B. So what is the address of a particular process? So we require the address of those application programs or the processes called as the port number. Port number is the address or the way to identify the processes running on the machines. Basically a port number or a port address is 16 bit integer. That means I can have as many as 2 power 16 port numbers ranging from 0 to 65,535. Now what is a socket address? Port number is understood. What is a socket address? Now I said that a process 1 on host A wants to communicate with process 2 on host B. Then first to ID... I have to first identify the host machine. I will identify the host machine using the IP address and then I will identify the process on that host machine using the port address. So the combination of this IP address and the port address together is called as the socket address. To identify a process first I need to identify the host machine and to identify the host machine I need an IP address and to identify the process in that host machine I require a port number together I require a socket address meaning a transport layer basically requires a pair of socket address one socket address for the client and one socket address for the server. Take an example of the socket address. I have the IP address for identifying the host and I have a port number which is basically a 16 bit integer where I can have port numbers from 65,535. Any one port number along with the IP address will give me the socket address. Then coming on to the transport layer protocols. Let me remind you that we have learnt about data link layer protocols like sliding window and all that. We have learnt so many network layer protocols, IP, IPv4, IPv6, we have learnt about ARP, RARP, boot P, DHCP, we have learnt about ICMP, IGMP, we have learnt about so many protocols at network layer. Now we are going to learn about the protocols at transport layer. The protocols at transport layer are UDP and TCP that we will be discussing in detail. SCTP is just mentioned, it has the properties of both UDP and TCP. UDP stands for user datagram protocol. 
UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol, where a datagram is named after the telegram in the postal system, which is unreliable service. So likewise, the user datagram protocol, UDP protocol of the transport layer is a connectionless unreliable protocol where connectionless means it doesn't establish any virtual connection between the sender and the receiver and it provides, uh, gives you the service without the reliable guarantee of uh, delivery of packets and it makes use of minimum overhead. It does a limited error checking. The main use of user datagram protocol is to send small messages. So all the services which send small messages or which require faster delivery make use of the user datagram protocol. Best examples are live streaming where you would not uh, like to uh, experience delay. Rather you are okay with uh, some wrong data and voice over internet. All these are the examples of user datagram services. Now, let us talk about the user datagram now. How does it look like? As we have learnt about the IP uh, packets formats, we will learn about the user datagram format. As I told you, every datagram or packet has header information plus the data. So, the datagram UDP header format is like this. UDP header size is about 8 bytes in length followed by the data that we would like to transmit and the header consists of source port number, destination port number, the total length field and the checksum field. Source port number why do I require because I would like to identify the process on the source machine, process running on the source host requires a source port number. It is obviously 16 bits. Then a process running on the destination host requires a destination port number. The total length is 16 bits. The total length of the complete datagram including the header and header plus data. When it is 16 bit it means the size could be 0 to 65535. Checksum. As I told you it provides limited, I have mentioned here, it provides limited error checking. That is, it provides limited error checking of error detection using the concept of checksum which we have already studied and this checksum is detecting errors over the entire user, gram, user data gram on the header as well as data. Now, let us look at the UDP operation. UDP as I told you, it provides, it doesn't provide any connection, it's a connection less service because it's a connectionless service, you cannot guarantee reliability. It doesn't provide any form of flow control or error control except for checksum. Then it uh, has encapsulation and decapsulation. How will you understand this? I have the uh, host machine and the destination machine. The transport layer of the host machine will make a UDP datagram and this will be encapsulated at network layer into the IP packet. This is called as encapsulation. But at the receiver side, the network layer's IP packet will, from the IP packet, the datagram will be decapsulated and will be given to the transport layer at the destination machine. So that is a concept of encapsulation and decapsulation. Then it makes use of a concept of queuing. Let, us, uh, let me explain you this with a diagram. As I told you, we require two pair of, uh, a pair of addresses for the client machine and the server machine. This is the process on the client machine requesting for the service of the process on the server machine. So for every process running, the process which is running, which is in execution, we will allot a queue where this queue will have an outgoing queue and an incoming queue. Likewise, at the server process also, we will have an outgoing queue and incoming queue. Now to buffer the messages coming from the process, we will buffer them into the queue. All the messages going out will be given into outgoing queue. All the messages which are coming inside will be put into the incoming queue and this queues are will exist until the process is running. Once the process has finished its execution, these queues are temporary, they will also be terminated. So this is how 
the, we specify the operation of uh, UDP where it is a connectionless, no flow and limited er error control, does encapsulation and decapsulation of the IP data of the user datagram into the IP packet and it makes use of queues. So this was about your uh, transport layer where we have talked about the process to process delivery, about the port number, about the socket address, about the user uh, datagram protocol, about its uh, services and its operation. Thank you.